all. Yes. <laughs> See, I've, I've sent about two million emails. Right, right, right. <laughs> and I talked to you about this arresting people that don't commit crimes. Yes. <laughs> so as to protect those that are union members. <laughs> Now, the amount of pay subject to garnishment is based on employees' disposable earnings. Yes, but it's not really that disposable when you think about it. When I think of disposable earnings, I think of the amount of money I have in my pocket. Yes, after I paid all the fixed expenses of having a household. That would be rent or mortgage. Yes, the electric bill, the water bill, the sewer, and the garbage bill. Yes, the actual groceries necessary to support a family. Yes, and then the insurances of supporting a family. Now, after I paid pay all the fixed expenses of uh, supporting a family? Yes. I consider that my disposable income. Seems that my definition, yes, as a financial consultant, right, is a little different than the Department of Labor's definition. Yes. See, their definitions are uh, deductions that include federal, state, and local taxes. <laughs> is that non-disposable income? You have to pay those? <laughs> And then there's the employee share of Social Security. Oh, that's non-disposable income. <laughs> As if we all have to pay Social Security. <laughs> and then there's the Medicare and state unemployment. <laughs> Do we actually have to pay for Medicare and unemployment? <laughs> yes, yes. And then there's those insurance taxes. <laughs> It also includes withholdings for employee retirement. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, something required by law as if I had to contribute to the pension plan or the 401k of the collective bargaining agreement of every member of the union. Yes. This is non-disposable income as if I have to support my wife's retirement while I sit out here homeless asking myself... Now I know. <laughs> As a state, you're concerned about my wife retiring. <laughs> Why don't you get me those collective bargaining agreements <laughs> where there's an obligation to pay dues, yes, to belong to a teacher's union, <laughs> and then get me the collective bargaining agreements where the <laughs> Department of Labor would say that you have to participate in the retirement plan of those that are in the... Now I know... <laughs> These are required by law participations in the collective bargaining agreements of those that are in teachers' unions. <laughs> you gotta look at them. The same collective bargaining agreements where you said I couldn't sue you, yes, for enforcing a fraudulent domestic violence protection order, yes, where the liability is on the state of Washington and every state of the United States that knows about courts issuing protection orders where there's no signature of the petitioner, yes. And then the same required pension plans and 401ks of the collective bargaining agreements where you said I couldn't sue you for that, I asked for... Yes, you can! <laughs>